All right, team. Uh, it's me, Mr. Jones with Jones on the Ground. Uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, tonight, we're just going to be discussing the Yamaha MX. Um, we'll try to get a bigger, better shot on it. Um, the MX is a 49 key. Well, my MX is 49 keys. They make them in 61 and 88. Um, this keyboard is a full synthesizer. Um, I'm going to give a little preview of some of the sound. Pros and cons on this keyboard. I'm gonna just go through them real quick. Pros, sounds. The sounds are wonderful. Um, <laughs> I'm normally in the electric pianos. So the sounds on here are from the motif. Um, the strings and guitars of guitars are really good um the 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 sounds are really good you know the organs are good every um i use a flute on here that's really good uh. Um, and I have a flute player, I have a saxophone player that kind of works for me on some projects, but if I don't have them, <laughs> it's like, man, you don't want to put flute in everything you do, but if you did... <laughs> This has some good flutes, has some good horns in it. Um, this keyboard has a very big place in my heart. It's one of these keyboards that, you know, yeah, it does have a couple of flaws, but um, it does everything, you know, as far as uh, it plugs into any DAW, especially using your phone. Um, it's MIDI in and out, so I've used it to control the Triton or uh, use bigger keyboards to play off this one. Um, this keyboard also has stereo out, so I take it to church and plug it in there for rehearsals or sometimes if I know it's youth day and I'm using different sounds and um, I, <laughs> I bring this in and we get it jumping. But um, the one kind about it is just the keybed. The keybed is dirt cheap. The M61 has the same dirt cheap keybed. <laughs> so, but this thing brand new is like $600. You know, um, you're not going to get the sound quality from another keyboard at this price range, especially, you know, considering that, yes, yeah, 49 keys, but if you're doing production work and, you know, everything else. <laughs> It's a good keyboard to have. Um, <clears throat> the issues I guess you have, you know, with working with a keyboard like this is, yeah, you always want a bigger keyboard if you're playing, you're being more expensive. 
I like playing on heavier keys, so that's a bummer sometimes. So I do plug this into other uh, keyboards, like my SO8 over there. Um, I don't use it as a MIDI controller as much as I thought I would, um, because once again, the sounds on here are really good. You know, I'm if I'm playing the MX, I'm usually putting it in and running audio into the DAW. You know, and then on top of that. It is a perfect keyboard for, like I say, small worship sessions. You go in and y'all have a small room rehearsals, or even if you're doing a big set, you you put this keyboard on top of a bigger keyboard, say a Nord Electron stuff. You can run all your synths and pads through here, and nope, man, people wouldn't even know. Man, you, you know, Gear Envy, what Gear Envy? You know, because this has is basically a baby motif. <laughs> you know, it does everything the motif did. Um, yeah, it don't have like 5,000 sounds in it, and yet every piano is maybe missing, but everything you need is in here. All the bread and butter uh, organs and bread and butter synthesizers and stuff, which I haven't even gotten into, and I probably won't because, once again, there, there are a few people making videos where they're going in hard on what this thing does, and it is a steep learning curve. Try, try to learn how to do everything. There are a couple of iPad apps that the FM Essentials one is the one I was looking at, and it unlocks the keyboards where you can put like 16 sounds down and set all your scenes in there and everything else. But if you're just playing, if you're just showing up and laying. Yeah, if you're just showing up and playing, this keyboard is wonderful. It does everything you need to do. And if you're doing sets, small, you know, you're doing gigs and stuff, this keyboard is a good keyboard to have until you can say afford the Mod X, uh, $1,000 more, the um, or the Montage, two, two or $3,000 more than this cost. And it just gives you that capability, you know, especially with MIDI outs, stereo outs, and stuff like that. This keyboard, you know, has a little story. You know, I thought, you know, we got when I got married, um, I was trying to get a Privia, and then I saw a video on this keyboard, and I was like, oh man, this, this key, it would be dope if I had one, you know. And you know, Guitar Center didn't have one for me to play on, so I was like, man, I would just take the plunge if I had it. But we didn't have it at the time, and you know, we got blessed after the wedding, and my wife took some of the money we got as gifts, and. She got me this keyboard instead of the Privia that I was looking for. <laughs> the funny thing is, the Privia, I eventually got one. And I'm I'm good with it, but it I don't have the love that I have for for this keyboard on that one. And this that's the thing, man. This keyboard literally does everything. You know, the only thing I don't like is that the keys or the key bed is just not... It's, Your fingers will hit these bump stops, <laughs> especially when you got hands like my hands are kind of big. So, um, yeah, when you pressing, yeah, but um, it's still articulate, it's still expressive. The pianos on here are really good. Um, I've been playing with um, uh, this old blues piano. I doing? I was doing something. Yeah, it's one of those things where it has some really pretty pianos on here. It has some really pretty sounding old pianos and especially with the electric pianos that's on here you know it's really i don't see why you would buy a yamaha reface when you can get one of these used for around the same price not that the reface isn't good but 37 keys versus a full synthesizer that you can use in what you need to use it for so um that's my pretty much my take on the yamaha mx it is one of my favorite keyboards um 
I think I played a 88 key version that uh, we was visiting the church and they had one and we had a good time playing it. The kids uh, got it in pretty good <laughs> in that service. And that's the thing, man, just having something with the capability. I know it's kind of limited as far as like, uh, you can only put two sounds at a time if you don't have the computer plugged into it and all that other stuff. But the two sounds you can run you know the sounds that you can run on here are good and if you don't need to go to church and you don't need the nord stage or the chord chronos or one of those workstations that you're going to church with if you could literally hold down this thing holds down services and i've had this thing for going on what three years now and when i turned it on it works it's reliable dependable and i've taken it in the studios, out of studios, I banged it, slammed it, dropped it, and I have not had to take this thing to get fixed one time. I've run, I've had microphones run in and out of this as an interface. I've done a lot of stuff with this keyboard, and this keyboard is still, it's still good. So <laughs> that's my review, that's my take on the MX. Uh, thank you guys for looking at the video, supporting. Um, and we would definitely see you again next time.